Hey everyone, this is Teacher JB and this is the Pre-Kindergarten class. Today we are going to learn about habitats and the habitat that we are going to study today is all about the woodland habitats and the animals who live in the woodlands. So, habitats. Do you know what is a habitat? Last time we studied about the habitat. A habitat is a place where a living thing lives. A habitat must have the food, water, and space that a living thing requires. So a habitat should provide a food, water, and space for the animal to rest for it to be called a habitat. In 30 seconds, think of as many different habitats as you can. Are you ready? Think as many as you can that you think can be called a habitat. Go! Hmm... Ready? Stop! Did you think of a habitat? What is it? Can we call our house a habitat? Very good. We can also call our house a habitat because our, because our houses provide us with food, a shelter, with water, and a place to rest. Good job, everyone! Now, let's learn about the woodland habitat. So this is the woodland. There are different kinds of woodlands. Okay, let's click on the picture to know about the different types of the woodland. The first one is the up woodlands. It has oak, birch, hazel, rowan, and all kinds of different trees that you can see in a woodland. Ancient woodlands. We have here woodlands planted long time ago that is now super tall and old. Those are the ancient woodlands. You can see that the plants there or the trees there have already produced moss. Okay, that's why you will know that it is already old. Native lowland woodland or woodlands and low-lying areas of uh, the land. So we can plant their oaks, ashes, and birch trees to grow. We also have woodlands that are near the forests. And these woodlands are home to different types of species and plants and animals. So the woodlands provides shelter for different types of plants and animals. Wild plants grow in woodlands. As well as trees, many other plants grow in woodlands as their habitat. On a woodland floor, many flowers grow, particularly in spring. These flowers can grow even with limited sunlight that gets through the trees. So these are some plants that grow on woodlands. We have bluebells, salandines, good anemone, and they only need little sunlight. Did you know that an oak tree can be home to over 200 different species? A single oak tree can be a home for different kinds of animals. What plants grow in woodland? So we also have moss and ferns grow on several different types of trees, including oak trees. They both grow best in shady, damp places that have very shallow roots. So we have moss and ferns in the woodland. Mistletoes also grows in woodland. It is known as a parasitic plant. When we say parasitic, it relies on the host to live. This means that it takes nutrients from another living thing. So the parasite is the mistletoe and the host is the tree. So the mistletoe needs the tree to get the nutrient. Although it won't kill the tree, it's growing, it can weaken it. So mistletoe is evergreen and its berries are produced in the winter. That's why we know mistletoes during Christmas. 
what insects live in woodlands. So we have bark branches, dead wood, and the layers of dead leaves on the woodland ground. Okay? And it is called a leaf litter. Make woodland an ideal habitat for insects because of the dead leaves and the, the branches that are on the floor. It is a good habitat for different kinds of insects. So there we can see a peacock butterfly, black beetle, and also dragonflies. So insects play an important role in the woodland habitat as a pollinators of plants and a food source for other animals. So the role of the insects is to pollinate the flowers or the plants because of them, the plants are grow healthily and also they reproduce. And of course, some other animals, some other insects are food for other animals. What birds live on woodland? So many birds live in woodlands. They are suited to this habitat because they eat insects that live on trees. As we said earlier, uh, the insects help other animals because it serves as their food. So the birds eat the insects. They make their nests in holes left by rotting branches and can hunt easily in trunks of trees that are close to get there. So these are some birds that live in the woodland. We have a woodpecker, Chaffinch, Little Owl, and Long Thrush. These are only some, but there are a lot of kinds of birds that live in the woodlands. So what mammals live in the woodlands? So budgers build their underground homes known as set in woodlands. They are nocturnal. They come out to forage at night. So nocturnal animals are animals who are awake at night while the urinal animals are animals that are awake during the day. So this is a badger. Roe deer. So roe deer are one of the two species of deer. They live in woodlands. At one stage, their numbers were in decline, but conservation efforts have met their numbers are in the rise again. So they are once extinct, but right now we are doing our best to uh, reproduce this kind of animal. Dormice. So dormice need woodland in a variety of plants and trees to live in. They hibernate during winter and can sleep for about seven months of the year. So this dormice really sleeps for seven months. Hedgehogs. So hedgehog diets consist of insects that live in the woodland. Like badgers, they are nocturnal. So they are nocturnal animals. They are uh, awake in the evening. An average hedgehog life span is two to three years. So threats to woodlands and habitats. Of course, not all woodlands are healthy. There are threats to our woodlands. There are many threats to woodland habitat. In the last 50 years, there has been 20% reduction in the number of woodland birds and other species have similar reduction. So first is commercial woodlands. Areas of forest have been dug up and replanted with trees that aren't native. This is done to grow trees that can be used to produce paper and other goods. This means the living things have lost their habitat. So what they do is they dug up the trees and they plant another tree that is not native to that uh, woodland. That's why the animals who live in the trees okay, are already gone because they don't have a home anymore. Land development. So one problem is land development. Forests have been destroyed in order to build houses and other buildings because of the development Okay, we dug up trees and we uh, uh, replaced it with buildings or houses. Okay, now people have a place to live, but the animals who live in that place will be gone. All right, that is all for today, and I hope you learned a lot in our lesson about the woodland habitat. Okay, we are going to learn more about different kinds of habitats so i'll see you next time